Ah, oh, welcome time travelers and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about history, one event at a time, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, we're going to start out in fifth, or I'm sorry, 323 BCE, when the king of Macedonia, Alexander the Great, passed away in Babylon. Moving on several centuries later to 1865, when Irish poet, dramatic, dramatist, and proposed writer, William Butler Yeats, one of the greatest English language poets of the 20th century and the winner of the 1923 Nobel Prize for Literature was born. Now, we're going to make a stop in 1878 when the Congress of Berlin met to sign the Treaty of Berlin to replace the Treaty of San, San uh, Stefano, which had been signed by Russia and Turkey on March 3rd, 1878. The conclusion of the last of the Russo Turks War. Now we're gonna go to 1886 when Louis II, the eccentric monarch of Bavaria, whose mania for extravagant building projects led to, in part to his nickname, Mad King Ludwig passed away at the age of 40. <sighs> 11 years later, in 1897, Finnish track athlete, athlete Pavo Nomani, or Norma, who dominated long-distance running in the 1920s, captured nine gold medals in three Olympic Games in 1920, 1924, and 1928, was born. Um, now let's make a stop in 1913, when Hudson Stuck and Henry Cartston led a mountaineering party to the south peak of the true summit of Mount McKinley, becoming the first people to escape North America's highest peak, or I'm sorry, ascend North America's highest peak of 6,194 meters, or the equivalent of 20,320 feet. Now, in 1938, the United States beat Great Britain in the Wetman's Cup contest at Wimbledon. Uh, 1946 brought us King Herbert leaving Italy after the resign of only 35 days resulting in Italian elections, which favored democracy over monarchy, forced his departure. 20 years later, in 1966, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Ernesto Miranda and Miranda v. Arizona, affirming that constitutional guarantees against self-incrimination include restrictions on police interrogation of an arrested suspect, which is actually how we got the Miranda rights, because if I remember correctly, in that case, they actually threw that case out because... The cops never read 
Mr. Miranda his rights, like the right to an attorney, the right to remain silent. Um, anything that he says can be and will be used against him. None of that. And once the Supreme Court heard that, they said that everything that the cops had gained, like information wise, got thrown out. Because Mr. Miranda didn't understand his rights and was not made aware of his rights. The following year, in 1967, Thurgood Marshall was nominated as justice to the U.S. Supreme Court by President Lyndon B. Johnson. He became the court's first African-American member. And we'll get into President Johnson at a later date. 1980 is when the British Foreign Office ordered Musa Kasa, the head of the Liberian di diplomatic mission in London, to leave the country for public for publicity approving or yeah, publicly approving the planning, planned assassination of two more Liber Libyans living in England. Two Libyans had been killed in April. On June 12th, Kusa told a reporter for the Times that two former Libyan government employees were marked for death because they had misappropriated funds. Libyan leader Muhammad al Qaedaf, however, had earlier indicated that steps would be taken to stifle criticism voiced by distant Libyans living abroad. Two years later, in 1982, following the death of his half brother, Claude. Uh, Faud became a king of Saudi Arabia, overseeing a period of modernization in the country. The following year, in 1883, the unmanned spacecraft Pioneer 10 crossed the orbit of Neptune, and thus becoming the first man-made vehicle ever to travel beyond the solar system. Um, as it began its voyage into interstellar space, Pioneer 10 continued to radio information back to Earth. The space probe was launched in 1972 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The following year, Pioneer 10 completed a flyby of the planet Jupiter, one of its principal mission missions. It's first, the first spacecraft equipped with an atomic battery because its flight would take it far beyond the sun, making solar power unfeasible. On this day in 2000, South Korean President Kim Dae-jung met North Korean leader Kim Jong-il and the summit that marked the first meeting between heads of two countries, helping earn Kim, uh, Kim Jong Jong the Nobel Peace Prize. Five years later, in 2004, or 2005, after a 14-week trial that became a media circus, American pop singer Michael Jackson was acquitted of child molestation charges. Now the following year in 2006 an Israeli missile strike on a van believed to be carrying rockets in Gaza kills the two men in the van as well as 
eight Palestinian civilians. Now, four years later, in 2010, the 64th Annual Tony Awards are presented in New York City. Winners included Red, which takes six awards, Memphis, Fence, and La Cage, Ox Follis, and actors Daniel, Denzel Washington, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Douglas Hodge, and Scarlett Johansson. And finally, last year in 2023, Donald Trump became the first former U.S. president to be charged with federal crimes as he was arraigned in a Miami courtroom. He pleaded got not guilty to 37 felony charges that related to his alleged mishandling of classified documents. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. Let's see what this year has in store for us. Until then.